Hey guys, so today I thought that I would sit down and do a lip swatch for you of the Sephora Lip Stories lipsticks. They're really cute. They're like a dollar. They just launched. Each one has its own story. So if you guys are interested in seeing lip swatches and finding out more about these products, then just keep watching. Okay, so I have six in total. They're all different color families. I've got some reds, some purples, some neutrals, a brown. So let's jump right in. I'll take off the lipstick that I have right now, which is a drugstore lipstick from... The lipstick I had on was Ruby Kisses Brown Sugar. It's a matte lipstick that you can find at the drugstore. All right, so let's start with the lightest and work our way to the deepest. So the first one is called... What is this one called? Where are the names? Ah, the names are on the side. The first one is called Tan Lines and it has a Thai bar, fish restaurant, and surf club picture on the cover. It's like plasticky. It looks like it's wrapped in paper and it's a plastic tube. Pretty flimsy, but $8, so I'm not going to complain about that. And on the inside, I'm not sure if you guys can see this. It says hashtag cream, so they do have different finishes. So this one obviously is a cream lipstick, so let's try tan lines. They're very creamy. Mm. This one's very similar in color to the one I just had on, but it has a more glossy finish. So here is tan lines. Here's number six, tan lines. Next up, we have number one. Oh, I guess I should have gone in order. Oh, well. Next up is number one, and this one is called Brunch Date, and it has like wicker chairs and a long table, like you're going out for brunch. This one arrived a little smushed. This one has hashtag matte on the side, so this one is a matte lipstick. And that's a cute way to differentiate between the three. Here is number one. What did I say it was called? Here is number one brunch date. Same smooth formula. Definitely matte though. The first one had a slight gloss to it. This one's definitely completely matte. So here is brunch date. Next we have number 11 and this one is called fireside. Oh I like that. It has like the wood waiting to be put in the fire and like a log cabin background. And this one says hashtag cream on the side. Ooh. So here is Fireside. I really like their cream formulas. So here is Fireside. When I think of Fireside, I think of reds and oranges. I don't necessarily think of brown. Anyone else? Okay, next up we have number 23 and this one is called After Hours. Oh, it's like a Ferris wheel carnival ride. After Hours. So I guess wild and dangerous. This one says hashtag matte on the side. There is After Hours. This one's nice. This one's pretty. After hours. So far there haven't been any in the sponge that I haven't liked, so four for four. Two more left. Next we have 32. This one is Berrylicious. Looks like a berry yogurt of some sort. 
And this one is a cream. If I haven't said it already, I think I like their cream formula the best. It just looks really glossy and youthful. Here's Berrylicious. They're very opaque. I don't feel like you need a lip liner underneath. I mean, it never hurts to use a lip liner, but I don't think that it's a necessity. And the last one is number 38, and this one's called Off Limits. Has a locked pink door. Maybe a diary? Is this supposed to be a diary? No, it looks like a gate. It's a locked pink gate. This one says hashtag Matt. This one was also smudged in transit. Ooh, this one's also coming out of its container. Ooh. All right, let me see if I can just push it back in here. I think I saved him. Off limits. So here are the arm swatches of the six lip stories that I have right now. Um, I think these are all really fun colors. I would wear all of these, maybe not with quite an extreme eye look, but I do think that they're fun. I probably would wear one of these with the eye look that I have going on today. Felt like they both looked really nice with it. I guess it would just depend if I'm in the mood for a matte or cream finish lipstick. Um, but I hope you guys found this lip swatch video helpful. Again, I think they're only like $8, so pick them up before they're gone. They're a limited edition. The packaging is really cute, so if for nothing else, they'd look adorable on your shelf or your vanity. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.